Libra, hope you're doing well. My name is Vince. Welcome to 7D Tarot. Libra, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, Libra, if you have a certain amount of money you would like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you're interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. You will love her. And stay tuned till the end of your reading where I will pull a final message from your spirit guides tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in. The first card that came flying out was the Nine of Cups. This is definitely the universe letting you know a desire is about to be gifted to you. Something you manifested, visualized, daydreamed about, something you put a lot of thought towards is about to come to fruition. So right now, in order for this to happen, you only have one responsibility left because you asked for it, the universe answered, now the ball's in your court. All you have to do is allow. And this is the one part that, you know, a lot of times humans tend to forget is we ask and the universe immediately answers. That's the thing. When you have a thought, it doesn't just disappear. It literally goes ta 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 And it's looking for another like thought to quantum entangle with. It's looking for a friend. And once it finds that like-minded friend, thought, energy, person, situation, it attaches themselves to it and draws them to you. So right now, all you have to do is in order to, for that thought to have enough juice to go out there and, and attract that beautiful abundance, nine and ten of cups, that abundance that you're seeking and the energy that I'm picking is a little bit of romantic energy plus financial energy, nine of pentacles, nine of cups, ten of cups, you see all the synchronicities. All you have to do is be magnetic and I'm going to show you exactly how to stay magnetic so this happens immediately. Now you got the seven of swords, three of cups, two of pentacles, the moon. Very interesting. So right now it's like it's there for you, but you got to be decisive. You got to know what you're looking for. Knight of cups, six of cups, eight of cups, wheel of fortune, judgment. Very interesting. Queen of pentacles, loving that. Knight of cups, loving this to start and the death card changes needed. So everything is beautiful here. Now, Libra, your affirmation for today is I attract loving energy. Yes, you do. You are beautiful. You are powerful. Understand you can quantum entangle with any of this cast a spell with your words right say this affirmation write this down as well in the comment section i attract loving energy i attract loving energy what you're doing is you're commanding assuming expecting you're letting it be known when you're scripting i attract loving energy yes you do you're beautiful loving spiritual being unconditional love is easy for you i attract loving energy write that down in the comment section now you're getting signs, right? Your angels and guides are going to be showing you signs, telling you exactly what to do. These signs are gonna guide you and steer you in a way shape or form that you don't expect it they may have it may seem like it has nothing to do with what you're looking for but it doesn't matter all you have to do is be so magnetic that you're able to follow your intuition and listen to where the signs point you what does this mean i'll give you an example maybe right now you're telling yourself i want to meet my soulmate or i want to attract wealth in my life okay so you ask your angels and guides you say it out loud you say angels and guides i am ready for my soulmate, I am ready for love. Bring my soulmate to me. Say it, command it, assume, expect it, right? Let it be known. Not like, please, oh man, I'm waiting. None of that, none of that scarcity. You are commanding, assuming with love. So for example, I attract loving energy, right? You're letting it be known. Now, what's going to happen is you're going to get feelings or images in your body and mind that are going to guide you not words. So when your angels and guides speak to you, it's always a feeling like, I feel like I should do this, or what a great idea. It's always like that. Everyone, everyone, everyone's waiting for words. Words, they rarely say words unless they have to say words, right? That's the thing. So we're, we're all waiting to hear words. <laughs> angels, right? But it's like all day, all night, you're getting feelings. Mm, I feel like I should do this. I feel like I should do that. Inspired action. When you get these feelings, it is essential that you listen to them and you go with the flow on this one. I cannot stress how important this is because if you listen to them, not only are they going to reward you with more guidance, but it is going to work out it's, it's basically and i'll give you an example imagine you're sitting at home and all of a sudden you get this feeling this energy and the energy says grab a coffee from a coffee shop or go grocery shopping whatever say coffee shop for fun then all of a sudden you're like huh and then you're like, I don't know why I feel like this, but something is calling me. It's my spider sense. It's not like an urge. I don't even want to drink coffee, but something is telling me to go, right? That is your angels and guides. So you're like, you know what? 
I'm just going to listen. You jump in the car, you go down to the coffee shop. Now, while you're at the coffee shop, you order some coffee and you're going to listen to your angels and guides and whatever they say you're going to do to its true potential. So when they say go to the coffee shop, they're not just saying go there and be like, ah, I guess I'm here. None of that. You're going there and you're going to be like, all right, grab your coffee, sit down, drink it there, ah, breathe it in, oh, be present. Like it's so good. Go on your phone, go check out some stuff, read a book, whatever, and just enjoy that moment. Be present. They wanted you there for a reason. Enjoy it. Now, while you're there, this is how your angels and guides work. They're not going to tell you that while you're there, maybe you're going to run into someone. Someone's going to spark a conversation with you. Maybe it's someone who moved into the neighborhood. Maybe it's someone who knows someone that knows someone. Maybe while you're sitting there, you're going to surrender and let go. And all of a sudden, another idea comes and it tells you, this is what you, you should do to create wealth, inspired action. You should invest in this or start this product to work for this company, or ask your boss for a promotion, anything, right? But this is how it works. One thing leads to another. And right now, your angels and guides are waiting to gift this to you, but there is some sort of energy here some sort of holding on to, right? Like in order for your angels and guys to be able to speak to you, they have to have a clear channel. And this clear channel can only happen when you close a chapter on something that is preventing this channel from working. And I'll give you an example how channels work. In order for your angels and guys to speak to you, they speak to you in a form of feelings and images. This is called a frequency. The same way you watch this YouTube video, you clicked on the link, this link had a signal that's coming from a satellite dish that has information in that frequency, right? If it has visuals and audios, right? Just to give you a disclaimer of what a frequency is. It's the same thing when you talk to your angels and guides. Frequency is something that carries information. In order for this frequency not to be jammed, you have to clear the frequency. I'll give an example. You know how walkie-talkies work? One person holds it down, goes roger, roger, one, two. What they have to do is let go of the walkie-talkie in order for the other person to speak to them. But if the first person holds the walkie-talkie down and just doesn't stop talking, holds it down, the other person, no matter how much they speak, they can't talk. So this is the same way. In order for your angels and guides to speak to you, you ask them, right? They answer and then you have to let go of the walkie-talkie for them to deliver and allow this energy into your life. So letting go means stop thinking. That's all it means, right? So for example, angels and guides, I'm ready to bring my soulmate in my life. Love you. Now, here's what allowing is or stop thinking. I am going to take my thoughts and put it on anything else other than what I just thought of. Angels, guide, spirit, source, uh, the universe does not need a babysitter. You know how the pizza guy doesn't need a babysitter? He's going to deliver it. You know how Amazon doesn't need a, a babysitter? They'll deliver your package. Let me tell you, spirit is much more competent than both of those uh, options, okay? So right now, all you got to do is understand that the universe will answer, but you have to allow, you have to allow, and by not thinking, then the best way is to change your area of focus onto something else you know either like you know when you get good at meditation you can literally be mindless all day you could have a conversation be mindless you could drive the car be mindless and not think but if in the meantime if you until you're able to be able to just focus on nothing focus your awareness on something else so ask your angels and guides for that and then focus on something else anything else anything else that you're passionate about i don't care if it's watching tv focus on something else don't sit there and be like where's my soulmate who, what, what, where, how? That is lacking. That is the, 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 the opposite of the art of allowing. All right, now check out your animal spirit. Yes, please. One of my favorites, not only because of the snazzy look, uh-huh, but also because fox spirit is about thinking on your feet, right? Thinking on your feet means being able to listen to your intuition. Thinking on your feet means that really following what your passion is not having to second guess it like for example thinking on your feet is like being able to maneuver and pivot and feel light and feel you know mentally clear right for example like imagine you're wearing a weighted vest a hundred pound weighted vest how sluggish would you be now imagine if you were just light on your feet like imagine losing a hundred pounds like imagine how light you would be same thing with the with, with your uh, the, the mental mind state right imagine how much trauma limiting belief shadows influences brainwashing is up here so imagine when you clear the energy by changing your thoughts by doing 15 minutes of meditation 10 minutes of meditation that's all you need it's like going to the washroom for the brain ah feels so good right all right libra now final message from your spirit guides Ooh, look at this one i love this new experiences and possibilities and tell me that's not the tree of life oh my goodness take me there number 18 is it all right so 
Look around in nature, notice the new beginnings, new experiences, and new choices being shown to you. They will only be evident to you if you take the time to look at these subtle messages. You are on the first steps along a new path. You're being offered a blank page. What are the first words you would like to write on it? <laughs> Understand that you are the co-creator of your reality. Your spirit guides are letting you know right now that this is a fractal holographic universe, which really means that imagine right now you're holding a paintbrush. This paintbrush on your canvas of life, anything you paint will come to fruition. So when you paint a beautiful butterfly, a unicorn that's just flying around, sprinkling cash on you and giving you kisses, it will come true. Your manifestations come true. But if you're thinking of a monster, right, fear, you don't want that coming true. So right now, focus your awareness and your thoughts and your manifestations towards what is truly in alignment with you, which is your passion. All right, Libra, I hope you enjoyed. You really hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.